let us consider this example. A certain body to moving, and it moves a certain body form. So very easily we can determine this uh, velocity polygon, where we have we were able to determine to derive the velocity of b with respect to a along that path and the velocity of a. From the velocity of a, we can determine omega four. Omega four is actually this angular velocity of one fourth. This is equal to the velocity of a over O4A. four a. O four a. That is that. Now, if we have to proceed with the acceleration analysis, let us consider first that particular point B in body two. That particular point B in body two has some uh, normal acceleration equal to the velocity of v squared over o to d. And that has to be directed towards point o2. The uh, angular velocity, angular acceleration, tangential, can be multiplied with the o to b to give us the tangential acceleration of point a. And that has to be along that direction. But that is on one side of the equation. This has to be equal to the acceleration of point A, normal, and uh, that acceleration of point A, normal, is just equal to the velocity of A squared over O for A. And it has to be directed from one to four. Plus the tangential acceleration. But actually, we do not know this. We know the magnitude, uh, the direction, but we do not know the magnitude. And it has to be along that perpendicular, this line O for B, O for A. The normal acceleration of B with respect to A is equal to the velocity of B with respect to A squared over a certain radius. And that radius is actually the radius of this carbon tube, which we can determine from that point up to uh, the point, so we have the radius. And uh, this normal acceleration is no is no worse so point. The uh, tangential acceleration of P with respect to A is also of known direction, but we do not know its magnitude. The Coriolis component is now equal to 2 multiplied by O4 multiplied by our relative velocity of B with respect to A. And if that is the magnitude, the direction is to be perpendicular to this velocity vector and uh, 90 degrees from that towards the direction of the omega 4. And it has to be downward to the direction of point of the axis of the uh, center of curvature. So with that, we can draw the uh, acceleration polygon. The acceleration polygon, we consider now first our acceleration of P, normal. The acceleration of P, tangential, on one side. And then the acceleration of A, Normal. The acceleration of A tangential, we do not know. The acceleration of B with respect to A, normal, is towards the direction. The acceleration of B with respect to A tangential is along that direction, but we do not know it yet. But the Coriolis component of acceleration can be added here. And now, we can add this vertical line, or this uh, line, dotted line, to uh, give us our tangential component of acceleration of A. And uh, this dotted line for our tangential acceleration of uh, B with respect to A. Tangential acceleration of B with respect to A. And this is uh, tangential acceleration of A. And actually, it is from here. 
that uh, we can determine our alpha force. 